So in the previous video, we looked at the get as function and why you shouldn't use it. Today, we're going to take a look at the put as function. And this guy is actually usable. You can use it without many vulnerabilities, right? So to get started, I just need a string. So let's say char str, and that's going to be hello world. Why not? I haven't used that in quite a while. And here's the function. All you have to do is just say put s and of our string. And that's all it takes. And this guy simply takes our string and outputs it to the standard output, basically to our console. So if I run this, you'll notice I'm going to get hello world on the screen. Now, a couple of things to note here. If I, for example, have uh, this put s call multiple times, if I run it, you'll notice that they are all on a uh, different lines. So what happens is this put s function is aside from just printing the string to the standard output, it also replaces the, z the zero, the null terminator at the end of our string with a backslash n so that the next put s call is going to have a new line. This doesn't happen with f puts, for example. So f put s would be just basically printing out that string without looking at uh, the null terminator and without replacing it with a backslash n. So here I have, for example, for f put s calls to std out, right? This guy takes in as a second parameter, the output stream. And if I run it now, you'll notice that they are all on the same line. So put s does a, a little bit of pre-processing before actually outputting it to the stream. Now to check if this guy was successful, well, we can take its uh, return uh, value and say here result. And if the result is higher or equal than zero, so basically if it's not a negative number that we know it succeeded in printing onto the screen. Right? So if I have it here, I can say uh, success, for example. And <clears throat> else, that usually means its uh, res is actually the EOF. So it's basically negative one. If that happens, it just means that it either didn't print on the screen at all or just partially uh, or something error occurred during uh, actually writing to the stream. Right, so if I run this, I'm gonna actually get success because res is actually going to be zero because of this being successful. And that's all there is to put s. You can use it, it doesn't, it doesn't have the vulnerabilities that get s does. So aside from the fact that if you don't have a null terminator on your string, it's going to continually just read from whatever place in memory it's at. But that's kind of rare. You should uh, you should make sure that your strings are properly uh, structured with a null terminator at the end, right? Aside from that, you can also use f put s, which is basically the same. It still looks for the null terminator, but it uh, doesn't actually add a backslash n at the end. All right, if you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.